What is up with the world? You are watching the Ice Drunk Gaming channel. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. If you are, you should hit that like button, hit the subscribe for any new comes out there new to my channel for new content. Let's try to get at least 50 views on this video. Today we're just hanging out playing some PlayStation 4. Today we're going to be playing some Sims 4 on the PlayStation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today we're going to be talking about these three trophies right here on my screen. The Castaway, Green Thumb, and Rosebud. Rosebud, you gotta have one million simoleons in the game. Green Thumb is mastery of gardening. Castaway is mastery of fishing. All three of these trophies will combine into one, so you don't really need to do anything but follow the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until then, roll that intro. Alright, and we are back on the PlayStation. Uh, actually, I didn't go anywhere. Um, I just basically stopped that video to get that intro done. So I moved over to get onto the TV and stuff so I can actually be comfortable. Um, but yeah, let's get into some Sims 4. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of games on my hard drive. And if you've wondered why I'd have that, I have a uh, external hard drive, one terabyte. Um, as you can go into my uh, settings, Scroll all the way down to storage. Um, as you can see, I have the system storage, which is basically the PlayStation 4 storage, which is basically a five terabyte or five gigabytes. And the external, external, or, you know, <laughs> the extended storage is basically two terabytes. So I have a lot of games that I can actually download on this system, but that's not what we're here for. We are here for some some Sims 4. So let's uh, go over here. And like I said, I made folders for all my games. So my folders are nice and neat. Um, but let's just jump into this Sims 4 here. And I will show you these three castaways and the green thumb and the uh, rosebud trophies. It's really easy to get. Um, it's not hard. Um, like I said, there's no cheats. There's no codes to be put in. Um, you just got to basically think outside the box when you're playing this game. Um, once you do that, you can basically think of a lot of other stuff to do. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to start a new game. Um, I will show you the uh, richest people in the game. There are six people that are rich. And if you're ever wondering who the richest people are in the game, I will definitely show you that. And I also leave down below in the description of all the people with their money, how much money they make per hour, and all the students and people that are unemployed. So I'll leave that down below in the description. Uh, but this video is going to be a two-part video. Uh, not, not two videos, but just basically two parts combined into one. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we are going to, I'm going to be showing you how to get some money in the game. To get that rosebud trophy out of the way, which is by like I said, is one million simoleons in the game. It's really easy to get. Um, you don't really need to play the game, to be honest with you. You just need to do this, these steps, and you'll be good to go. Alright, so like I said, I am basically creating a new character right now. New game, fresh, no codes, no nothing involved. Just waiting for the game to reload or, uh, you know, start up. Um, as you can see, i got the character right here. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick a name. Okay. And I'm going to be picking her uh, aspiration, which I'm basically going to be doing... Let's just do... Let's do popularity, and we will do... Joke star. And we are going to be picking three of her traits, like so. Um, I'm not going to be worrying about, you know, customizing her or whatever. I'm just going to be basically jumping right into this. Okay. <clears throat> save save to play. So we're going to be playing her as right now. Um, but yeah, I, I figured this out last night. Um, so, okay. So we're basically going to be got three worlds or four worlds we can pick. Um... Forgotten Hollow is the vampire section, so uh, we're not going to do that. I want to find the shortest uh, house, cheapest house possible that I could afford. Um, this is 16, 
that's 13. That's I think the amount mistake, and I think the Crick Cabana is the cheapest, was 13,663, or you know, 13,000. Two bedrooms, one bath. I have a fund of 20,000. So I'm going to confirm this. I am also going to be doing and make sure that it's furnished because it's easier to do a furnished instead of, you know, unfurnished. Basically, there's no beds, there's no kitchens, there's no bathrooms, there's no nothing like that. So, jump into this and I will show you a cool trick on how to get money in Sims 4. All right. So, as you can see, this is the character that I picked or, you know, customized and stuff. I can basically move, do whatever. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to move her into the house just so that you can see that she's basically controllable. She's, she, you know, you can basically do whatever you want with her. You can basically, you know, like I said, watch TV, blah, blah, blah. I think you guys are pretty much, cons you know, familiar with that. So, she is pretty much my character to play as I see fit. Um, give me one sec. Let me turn the TV down because it is a little loud here on my end. Okay. All right. So, as you can see down below of her screen, it says fine. I'm going to pause it. Um, you can see where it says 6,337 or or 6, simoleons that are, I have to spend in the game. So, what we're going to do on the PlayStation 4, because I don't play Xbox, is you're going to push options. And it's going to bring you up to the menu, the menu section where it says save, game options, blah, blah, blah. What you're going to do is you're going to go to manage worlds. And then you're just going to basically go, just go to manage worlds. And you're just going to click that. Okay? So that's that. So once you get into this, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the Hollow Creek because that's where our house is. And you are basically going to go to it. You're going to press X. Make sure that it's highlighted blue, as you can see on the screen. Highlighted blue. You've got play, you got visit, you got build, and you got these three little dots, which basically means move more. You're going to click on that, and you're going to go to manage household. Don't click on any of these other two. Move out household or evict. Don't do that. Just go to manage household. Now, you're going to come up to this screen. Is you got uh, edit, you can basically edit your Sims, remove the Sims from the household, or create another Sim. You also got move household into a lot, so I can basically move my household into a different lot. We don't want that. You want transfer Sims between households, so you're going to click that. So, what you're going to do is when you're going to move over to the right, and if you press R1, you got basically you can unplayed characters l1 is basically played characters there's no households exist in this category so we're going to push r1 so now these three right here willow creek forgotten hollow and oasis springs are real people okay these are real people that are actually has houses and money not in world you don't want to mess with those. You don't want to mess with those because this does not work. So what we're going to do is we are going to say, okay, I know for a fact that this, this household right here has a lot of money. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on all four of them, make sure that they're green, and you're going to basically transfer the Sims over to my house. Now, as you can see, it says, if all the Sims are transferred out of this household, all the household belongings will be sold or transferred to the new household, which will be my household. So what you want to do is make sure that you click on sell all lot furnishing. What that's going to do is it's going to sell the beds, the refrigerators, the bathrooms, the kitchens, all that. Chairs tables, lightings, carpets, you name it. Everything that's in that house is going to be transferred into money, brought over to me. So we're going to click on that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see how there's nothing, you can't control it, nothing like this. You're going to press circle. Then you're going to press up. And then you're going to basically go over to the household that you just made. And as you can see, Houston has five people 
You're going to click on it and you're going to play. And now watch the simoleons that is basically in my bank. I hit 6,337 when I first started out. Now watch it. <clears throat> so make sure you do these steps. It's easy to do. And once the game starts, we will have... 182,000 simoleons, 672. Okay, so we have, we just basically went from 6,000 simoleons up to 182,000. Now what you're going to do is you're going to basically go back to Manage Worlds, just go to Manage Worlds, and you're basically going to rinse and repeat until you get the millions and millions it's really easy to get <clears throat> so we're going to go back to that household that we just made like so and we're going to go to the three dots more manage households we're going to transfer things between households now as you can see they have households are already made in the play world so you got more people <clears throat> okay now Let's just say, I'm going to move these four characters over, okay? These four characters that I just uh, transferred over into my account. I'm going to transfer them over to this house because we don't need them, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the character that I just made. I'm going to go to Manage Household, Transfer Sins Between Households. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> So all those characters that I just transferred over are in there, okay? Now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to be going, let's see if I can't find that household here. Okay, that's uh, Willow Creek. Okay, so now let's just say you want a better house, okay? You know for a fact that, uh, that this house right here, okay? The Spencer Kim Lewis household, okay? It's 40 by 30, all right? My house is only a 20 by 15. I want to upgrade that household, okay? So some of these houses right here, you can't uh, move into it. You got to basically buy, buy it with, with some millions, with your real money. So let's just say I want to move into this household, but I don't want all those people living in my household, okay? I only want a few people. What you want to do is you want to go into the character you just made, go to more, go to manage household, go to transfer households, and you are basically going to go find that household. Um, Oasis, I think. No, I think it's in Willow Creek. Yeah, there it is. All right, so then you're going to go into this. Okay, so let's just say there's uh, five five people living in this household. Okay, and I don't want all five of those people living in my household. I just want a few people. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the people that you do not want. And you're going to send them over to that household. To the household I'm in now. And then you're going to take your character that you made. Transfer it over. And then what you're going to do since that money that you had from the previous household uh, transfer is over into that household. But you want it to be brought over. So what you could do is you can, uh, you know, transfer all that household into that household, sell the lot, all the lots, okay, like so. Click in that, all right, so now my icon is brought over, okay, so now I can, I can repurchase this household right now as we want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be showing you the household that I just made, so I'm going to go play. Okay, so that's that. So now, now that that's done, okay, and you keep doing this, you will basically get the green thumb and you'll get the castaway trophy. So if you keep bringing people over into your household, because certain Sims have already unlocked those trophies. So you, I don't know exactly who has them, but there's a lot of Sims. I think there's like 66 Sims that are playable that you can bring over. They all have those trophies unlocked. You just got to keep bringing them over to your household. Now, once the game starts, you will see that I have a brand new house. Um, I have a brand new house that I could basically transfer. 
I can play in. I can do whatever the heck I want. I can demolish it, rebuild it, do whatever I want with it. And as you can see, I have 250,000 simoleons to play, do whatever I want. Now, let's just say that you don't want these people, like I mentioned before, that I kind of screwed up. But, all right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Manage Household, just, just like I mentioned before, just go to Manage, manage Worlds. You're going to keep doing this over and over and over. Just make sure that you go to the houses that have money. Don't go to not played in this world. Okay? So, I'm going to go to that. I'm going to go to Manage House World. Transfer scenes between households. Alright. These are the characters that I made. So, then I'm going to go into not, not in World because I don't want to be playing those characters. Alright, I don't really care about them. I'm going to transfer them all over in there. Alright, I'm going to transfer it into there. Now, I just have two people living in my household. Simple as that. Okay? So, now, the question is, who's the richest people in The Sims? Okay, so now that we got our richest people in the world, okay, so we got five of the richest people plus the richest person in Sims. If you let the game play, like I said, you will come to these people. And these are the richest people in Sims. I mean, I basically <laughs> transferred all those Sims in the game. I, like I said, there were 60-some freaking Sims in the game. Transferred them all over into my household just to write down how much money they make per hour. So I have, I did a lot of freaking work. But I made this easier for you guys to figure out. Okay? And like I said, I will bring down in the description of how much money everybody makes in the game. Per hour. So like I said, some of these characters are students, so you got to make sure that you are aware of that when you click on them and you're like, oh, well, he said this character makes $27 per hour and it's a student. Like I said, make sure that you play the game for a while, okay? Let, let the game catch up to where it's supposed to be. All right. Now that we're in there, okay, now that we're, now we brought these uh, characters over, six people over, five, five, top five people. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to be seeing how much money they make. I'm right now, I am making $41 per hour. All right, so let's do the top five people. All right, so we got Sherry Bartholomew. How much money do you make? $145 per hour. Not bad. All right, Alice Spencer Kim. How much money do you make? $191 per hour. Not bad. Don, how much money do you make? $410 per hour. That is pretty damn good. All right, Lisa, $210. Dollars per hour. Not bad, not bad. Caitlin Paul, come on down. You make $104. Not bad, not bad. All right, the richest person in the game, Arvin Scarborough. You make $479 per hour, which basically ties into about $4,000 per job. Every time he works, he makes Brings home about $4,000. So, like I said, Don right here is the second richest person in the game. He's a chef. This right here, uh, Alice, she is a double agent. Okay. Uh, Sherry, she's $145. She's a hedge fund manager. Don't know exactly what job that is. I think it's a business job. Okay, so Don, you are chef. 
Not bad. Aliza, you basically a double agent. Caitlin, you are a space no, astronaut. And Arvin, you are a supreme villain. Not bad. So when it comes to money, it looks like um, it looks like the uh, I forget what 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 that uh what what that is uh the little wheel character green hat it might might be uh, I don't know exactly what kind of job double agent is um, but yeah these are the five richest people in the game like I said you could bring your household over to the characters that you just made. You can do whatever you want. It's the character household that I made, so I can basically play and do whatever. As you can see, I have about almost two million uh, simoleons in the game. And I kept doing this over and over and over, transferring households over and over and selling their crap and basically keeping the money that I make, transferring it over. So like I said, I, keep do I kept on doing it. And I found the richest people in the game. So I can transfer and basically do whatever I want. And my character is a vampire. So what's that mean? I could basically now, um, you know, I can suck their uh, plasma, do whatever the heck I want with it. You know, so I got free food in the game. So, you know, he's a vampire with uh, freaking bunny slippers. You know, so if it things a thing, <laughs> do what you got to do. Um, so that's that. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. But like I said, I will definitely leave down below in the description of all the all the uh, the people with the most money and who makes the most money in the game and the richest people in the game. So like I said, you're watching the next Young Gamer channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. But until then, I'll see you guys on that next episode.